Okay. So uh, this is it's the best way to actually do this task is to have multiple screens uh, or split the screen so that you can have the algorithm on the right side and then the the pseudocode I mean the trace table on the left side. And so we start right away. I'm looking at on the right side and then going to the left side and filling it in. So it says the accept is equal to zero. So we place a zero under accept. Then we put a zero under, under I mean over, and then a zero uh, equal, under is equal to zero. Then we put in the words, it says the output. So under output we place enter the weight or weight of first first um, cookie bag okay do not put the inverted commas in there just put the words that are inside the inverted commas okay then the next statement is uh, input the bag weight now the bag the first bag weight is 1.17 so I'm gonna start in this column 1.1 seven okay and then the then we start a repeat loop now it starts there uh, where it says the repeat loop there and then it asks is the bag or if bag weight is greater than 1.1 yes this is greater than 1.1 therefore error is equal to one so i'm going to put one there and then uh, once we put one there um, we go to the next one we cannot do that one because it's not true uh, the, we already have the truth there that the bag weight is over 1.1 1 .1. uh, Yeah, so now we jump all these ones and then we move to the next statement where it says if error is zero Now error is not zero error is currently one Then we, we jump that one and then it says else if error is one So if error is one then over is equal to over plus one and the moment over is zero So zero plus one is one Okay, so that is already happening then it goes in there and it says output weight of next bag. Okay, so we say, we type in weight of next bag. Or we say next bag, yes, question mark, there. Then, what, then it says input bag weight. So the next bag weight is 0 0.99, so we place 0 0.99 there. And then, we ask the quick we go back it says until bag weight is less than zero bag weight is not less than zero it's uh, more than that so we have to go back and repeat okay what are we repeating it's asking again if bag weight is greater than 1.1 no it's not greater than 1 0 0.99 is not greater than 1.11 so error will not be equal to zero then it goes down so if it's not true then we do the next one which is if bag weight is less than 0 0.9, is that true? No, it's not. So error is not equal to two. It goes there and it says error is equal to zero. So we put zero under there. And whenever error is equal to zero, we go back down here and it says, if error is equal to zero, then accept is equal to accept plus one. So therefore accept would be one. So zero plus one is one. Okay. Um, then output weight of next bag so we type it in there you will have to write it in if you don't write it in then you will not get the marks for this um, weight of next bag and then question mark then we put in the next weight which is 1.01 so that's 1.01 then you go there it says until bag weight is less than zero bag weight is still not less than uh, it's still not less than 0. Point, it's not less than zero. So we go back up and repeat again. So we keep repeating until we put we find a value that is less than uh, zero. Okay. So if the bag weight is 1.1, is that 1.0 bigger than 1.1? No, it's not. So error will not be equal to zero. Then it says if bag weight if we if it's not equal to if it's not greater than that then that means it's not over so we go down here and it says if bag weight is less than 0 0.9 this is not less than 0 0.9 so error cannot be equal to 2 and then the next one error if it's not equal to 2 it's not equal to 1 and it's not equal to 2 then it obviously be equal to 0 so we put a 0 there and then 
when it says if error is equal to zero, accept is equal to accept plus one. So we go to accept, accept is currently one. If we add one, then it becomes two, okay? Then we move on to the next one. We repeat the same process, output weight of next bag. And then you click, you put the question mark there, okay? Then it says, what is the next weight? Input the bag weight. The next bag weight is 0 .0 0 0.85. Okay, now 0 0.85, then we go until bag weight is less than zero. It's still not less than zero, so we go back up and repeat the same process again. If bag weight is greater than one point, right now bag weight is 0 0.85. Is that greater than that? No. So we go down to the next one. Is it less than 0 0.9? Yes. That means error will be now equal to two. Okay, so if it is equal to two, then we go down here, it says if error is equal to zero, no, it's not equal to zero. Is error equal to one? No, it's not. Is error equal to two? If it's equal to two, then under is equal to under plus one. Currently, under is zero, so zero plus one will give us one. Okay, then it says output weight of next bag, so we just rewrite this. Weight of next bag question mark okay then we input the next weight which is 1.3 1.3 i'm gonna go a bit faster now so we go back until so back weight is still not less than zero so we go back up if back weight bigger than 1.1 yes it is if it is then error is equal to one so you can see that it says error is equal to one because the back weight right now is bigger than 1.1 Okay, if that's the case, we get out of this if statement and then we go there. Is error equal to uh, zero? No. Is error equal to one? Yes, which means over is equal to over plus one. Currently, over is one, so one plus one gives us two there. Okay, then again, we repeat the same process, weight of next bag, and then the user will now input the next weight, which is... 2.2 so we put 2.2 there it's good practice if every time you input a value you just underline it or scratch it out so that we know that you have actually entered it there so that you can keep track you don't end up ent entering the same value twice or three times and so on okay so now we've input 2.2 so we go back and repeat the process is that value greater than 1.1 yes 2.2 is bigger than 1.1 so we put a a, a one there, error is equal to one. So we put a one under error, okay? Then we go find that if statement that says else error is equal to one. If it's equal to one, then over is equal to over plus one, which means currently it's two, so two plus one will give us three. So now we have three bags that are over. We have one bag that is under. We have two bags that are acceptable, okay? Then we type it in again, wait, of next bag very important that you do this okay then we input the next value which is 0 0.55 so that's 0 0.55 and then 0 0.55 um, we ask the question is it less than zero no it's not so we go back and repeat so now if the bag weight is one is greater than one it's not uh, if the bag weight is less than 0 point, which is true, so that means error gets 2. That means this bag weight is underweight. And if it is underweight, then we jump straight to this else if error is equal to 2, and then under is equal to under plus 1. So at the moment, under is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Okay? Then we in, again, we output this word weight of next bag with the question mark. It's okay if you go outside the, the block. Um, and then we input the next value, which is 0 0.89. So we put in 0 0.89 under bag weight, okay? Then we, it's still not less than zero, so we go back up. Is this bag weight more than 1.1? No. If it, is it less than 0 0.9? Yes, so error, is going to be equal to two, okay? And then if it is zero, if it's equal to two, then we go here and it says error, else error is equal to two. If it's equal to two, then under is equal to under plus one. Currently under is two, 
2 plus 1 is 3. Okay? Excellent. Now we go back and then we output again there. You keep doing those steps. Don't miss a step at all. Weight of next bag question mark. Okay? Weight of next bag question mark. Good. Then we input the next value which is 2.09. So that's 2.09. Okay, the moment you put uh, 2.09, we go back, it says until bag weight is less than zero. No, it's not. So we go back up and repeat. Okay, we keep repeating until this statement is true. So now here it says if bag weight is greater, yes, this is true. So error is equal to one. So there it says error is equal to one because this bag weight is over 1.1. Okay, now we jump straight to this else. If error is equal to one, then over is equal to over plus 1. Currently, over is 3, so 3 plus 1 is currently 4 now, because if we add 1, it becomes 4. Then we output again, weight of next bag is question mark there, okay? Then we input the next value, which is 1.9. So we place 1.93, sorry, it's 1.93 there. So make sure that you read the, the number correctly. Then we go back there because the bag weight is still not less than zero, okay? So let me just zoom in a bit there so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so until bag weight is less than zero. So it's still 1.93, so we go back up and repeat. If bag weight is more than 1.19, Okay, if it is more than 1.19, um, which is actually true because 1.93 is bigger than 1.19, so error is equal to, to 1. Now, we jump straight to this else, else if error is equal to 1, then over is equal to over plus 1. So that means 4 plus 1 gives us 5. Okay, then we type in output the weight of next bag question mark then we input the next value which is 0 0.77 so we place 0 0.77 there and then we ask the question is the bag weight we go back up and repeat because it's still bag weight is not less than zero so we go back up and then if bag weight is more than 1.1 no it's not so we jump that, and then is the bag weight less than 0 0.9? Yes, it is less than that. So error is equal to 2. And if error is equal to 2, we jump to that one else. If error is equal to 2, under is equal to under plus 1. So that means under is currently 3. So if we add 1, it becomes 4. Excellent. Then we go down here, and then we type it in again, or we write it in. Weight of next bag, question mark, okay? Then, what is the next one? 1.18, okay? So that's 1.18, okay? Then we go there, it says until bag weight is less than zero, 1.18 is not less than zero. So we go back and repeat one more time. Then it says, is the bag weight over 1.1? Yes, it's true, so error becomes one, okay? Now, if the error is one, then we jump out of this if statement and then we jump to that else if statement that says, if else if error is equal to one, then over is equal to over plus one. Currently, error over is five, five plus one gives us six, okay? You will notice that I am actually going in the same line as the input of the value or the number, or the bag weight, sorry, okay? Then it says output the next one, which is weight of next bag, question mark. And then they said the next value is negative 10. So you put negative 10 there. It says until bag weight is less, is that less than zero? Yes, if it's less than zero, we don't repeat anymore. So we go there and it says total is equal to accept plus over plus under. What is accept? Accept is currently two, okay? So accept is currently two. And then over is currently six. 
under is currently 4. So 2 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to what? It's equal to 12. So we put 12 there. Then it says, the final part, output number of bag, bags weighed. So now I'm just going to zoom in here and then say, state the number, number of bags weighed is total. Total is currently 12, so we put 12 there. Then the next output says number of overweight or overweight, yes, overweight is over. So that comma means co concatenation. We are joining the sentence number of weight with the variable over. Under over right now is, uh, if you look at that, is six. So we put six there. Okay, and then the last one, number of, sorry, it doesn't say number of, so let me just erase that. It just says number overweight and then number underweight. Underweight, and it will display under, what is currently under, under. Uh, we can see that it's four, so we put four there. Okay. And then you get one mark for that column, meaning all the values must be in that column. And then one mark there, all the values must be in there. That one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. That is seven points. Okay? All right. So that is the end of that video. This video was only to demonstrate how to answer question one, uh, question one A of the trace table worksheet two. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful.